how do you feel about the, the, the altercation you guys had yesterday and what did you pull from that and how her energy was towards you? Uh, Carissa, that is. Yeah, that, I think that's a great question. Honestly, when I go to a fight, I'm about my business. I'm there for one thing, and that's to to that's to that's to enjoy the fights, right? You know, um, they came. Chris Mannix came, did a short little interview with me. I kept I kept it short, simple, and classy. I know my mouth, and I know that I can say a whole lot, but there's only so much to say, right? And I kept it short, simple, and. Um, you know, the fight continued and fight was over. It was time to go in the back. Honestly, I knew bumping into Clarissa, it could have been one or the other thing. Again, I don't have to, to step to nobody. I'm about my business. I'm a grown woman. I, I move with class. Okay. I'm about to go to the back. Oh, girl, just jump in my face. Now, you know, when you, when you have your personal space being interrupted by something, now, now there's, there's, there's going to be confrontation, right? And I'm just seeing Clarissa is desperate. Clarissa is, is desperate to be seen, to be heard. And as you could see, she's doing a whole lot of rah-rah. She's yelling. She can't even have like a simple back, to, back and forth. And when, when we have this back and forth, there has to be some sort of substance when you're talking. To say I'm broke, to call me a drug cheat, what, like... What what is that even saying? At this point, you're still not trying to make a fight. You're trying to make things like just there's no substance to the conversation. So for me, I'm just like, why am I going to continue to stand here? You know, I got I, I'm trying to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was it was it just showed me, obviously, Clarissa's character, who she's always been. She's a very insecure woman. Um, a lot of people don't know the full story. I know a lot of people were like, oh, they were friends first and this and the other. I was cordial with this girl because that's just who I am. I get along with a lot of people. But I knew there was underlying issues when it came to Clarissa. My spirit told me about that. You know what I'm saying? And this is what people really have to understand is Clarissa been envious of me. That's why she probably wanted to be my friend. That's probably why she wanted to be close to me. Cool. But when, when that stuff that envious and jealous spirit get to eating at you because you can't be that person or you trying to be that person, it don't work. And that's just what that is. And again, this whole situation got turned into something personal because I was asked a simple question about what I fight Clarissa. And I said, yes, this would be an opportunity for two great women, two champions to come together to make a bag and put on for the sport. That, that was my whole intention from the get go. But of course, Clarissa took it personal, and here we are today talking about it. That's a great point. Y'all are such big names, right? Like, and I'm always about the big name fights. I think the fans want it. So, you know, if you look at that, a lot of people disagree and say that she may be too big for you. What do you have to say to those fans? Listen, this be too big. I like. I get it. An average person be like, "Oh, she's too big." Clarissa, my size. That's how I feel. In my mind, I can beat Clarissa on any given day. Y'all got to understand, I've been fighting big girls my whole life. You know what I'm saying? I came up, started boxing at eight years old. I didn't have a lot of, I didn't, I couldn't get a lot of fights. So I had to fight bigger girls. And what I learned from that and the experience I gained from that is when you're great at what you do, it don't matter the size of the person. Okay. And that showed me time after time after time, my experience my skill set is way superior than Clarissa Shields. I know this. I don't care about her size. The girl was slow. The girl slapped with her punches. Like, people really got to pay attention. I, I pay attention to the smallest detail when it comes to this boxing stuff. Now, I'm not taking away from her her credit or what she's done in the sport. She's done what she's had to done, do, right? But to, to say she's bigger than me, cool, say that. I just know I can beat her. I just, I know my skill set. I know what I got in my bag, and a lot of people haven't seen me yet at the at the pinnacle of my career. I'm really stepping into that right now, and you know the world's going to see that when I fight Delphine. Delphine is a great opponent. I'm defending my titles against her. This is going to show why I am who I say I am. This girl is a come forward fighter. She's dirty. She's you know very sloppy with her punches. But again, skills pay the bills. Hey, uh, Lisa, this is Ron over at Fight Hype. And I was there at the 
you guys getting into it, I'm just going to ask, like, how does this fight get made? Like, would a catch weight work? Like, just because she's screaming 154. I know that you had your point of her saying she'll fight, you know, 147 for, you know, a cyborg. And now with you, it's 154. So would a catch weight work? Or like, how does this fight even get made? So this, so this is my thing, and that's a great question. Again, I've only said 140, 147 because Clarissa has said that out of her mouth multiple times. I have text messages. We have the screenshots of her saying 147. If you're calling these other girls out, an MMA fighter at 147, why aren't we able to make 147? If you need a nutritionist, then get that. If you can't make the weight, then just say that. You know what I mean? Don't say... Oh, I'm not coming to 47 because you're a drug cheat. Like that doesn't even that don't even correspond like with what we're talking about. I'm only going off of what she said, which was the 147. And I think that's a fair weight. I really do. Could we do a catch weight? Possibly. But I'm only going off of the 147 because that's simply what she said. So I'm holding her to that. Wolf, you, you you got a question for Alicia? Yeah. Um. Hey, Alicia, how you doing? I wanted to um. Hey. Alicia, Alicia, bro. Alicia, Alicia. All right. All right. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to ask you, how does how do you see a fight um between you and Clarissa? How does that do for women's boxing? And from your opinion, from your perspective, how does how does it benefit women? Yes. How boxing? do you see that benefiting women's boxing? So I see it benefiting boxing. I think that when we talk about great fights, when we talk about two athletes, two champions, um, you know, me and myself coming. You cut out Alicia when you said me, myself. Alicia, can you hear me? Can the speakers hear? Yeah, she's cut out. Yeah, she's cut out at the moment. Yeah, we, we can't hear her. Oh, oh we can hear you now, Chance. There she goes. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, this this sport or this fight would benefit boxing. You have two athletes, two champions, you know. I'm I'm I know I'm the best. So I'm I'm saying I'm gonna move up to to challenge this quote, this so called the greatest of all time. And I think it just shows the pedigree of what what boxing is, right? I think the, the the sport of boxing is competitiveness. I'm a competitor. I'm great at can you hear me? Did it cut off? No, you can okay, hear me. You're good. Oh, you're good. Okay. oh, okay. Yeah, it, it just shows that the competitiveness in, in two people. And I think it just it's going to show why one one athlete <clears throat> is just superior. I think that's just the 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 end all be all is who is more superior. You know, you, you have someone who's great, who's accomplished the Olympics and the gold medals and all. I can't even keep up with the, the accolades. Right. But you also have someone who has the work ethic who maybe doesn't quote unquote have all the belts, the gold medals, but I got work ethic and I got heart and I got skill and experience. I just know that trumps everything. Like that's just what I know. So I think it just shows Who's, who's going to be just more superior in the game of boxing? And I just know I'm better. Like, real shit. Hey, champ, was it was it a little disrespectful that she, like, put her hands on you and touched you? Like, she, she talked about how she was able to, you know, essentially like slap your hand and you didn't do anything. You, like, looked at the crowd in her Instagram live. Right. Well, listen, if we know anything about Clarissa, she thinks she did her big one by slapping my hand. And this is what I want people to understand. If I wanted to drag this girl, I would. But guess what? Everything's playing in my mind. I think before I do things, because I look at the bigger picture. I'm a world champion. I'm undisputed at 130. I have a lot of people and a lot of fans, young girls, young kids who look up to me. Just imagine me fighting Clarissa. Is that a good look? I know a lot of people love that. They love it. They eat it up. I should have, I should have did this. I should have did that. No, I'm 30 years old. I got bigger and better things coming my way than to be slapping around this girl. But Clarissa is, is a hype. 
hype man. She she hypes herself up. She got a big crowd. She thinks she, you know, she doing something. She really not. She's very immature. And in that moment, I had a choice to make. I had a choice to either drag her or keep it moving. And I kept it moving because at the end of the day, Clarissa is who she is. She's insecure, like I keep saying. She she she's all for the rah rah. So it was disrespectful, but at the same time, I'm like I'm not surprised either. But it, it all comes down to me and how I how I respond, and I responded correctly. I know that, and I get paid to fight. Okay, I'm not tussling for free. I got a whole dress and heels on. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Um. Yeah. So we were we were talking. You were talking about the weight just two seconds ago. Um, my question is why Clarissa has a problem with um, you wanting to, to make the fight at 147 when you're jumping up three weight classes, 130, jumping over 135, jumping over 140, going to 147 to fight her, but she can't call up a couple of pounds to fight you at 147. When she was going to fight Chris, Chris Cyborg at 147, but she can't fight you at 147. So I'm just worried. I'm wondering why that's an issue when you're jumping three weight classes to fight her. Hey, that's a great question. That's a great question to ask her because that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's why I keep preaching, girl. You talking about you fight this girl at 147, but you can't fight me. You want me to jump up how many weight classes? I really think, I don't really think I know Clarissa is threatened. This is what y'all got to know. Nobody was barking up Clarissa Shields' tree. I said that I'll fight her. Now it's like, oh, it's personal. So now that I'm coming with that heat and I'm talking my shit like I always do, and you mad, you're, she's threatened. So, you know, she wants the most advantage she can get. And that, that's all that is. She want to make 47, she could. I know she could. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's definitely true. Like, um, the, the weight talk and everything is just kind of, you know, Clarissa ain't been pressed. Like, you tried to press her and... And and that's where we're at now. And and I thought for real at first it was going to go cool because you just gave her like a polite call out. Like, hey, you know, I think we two, two yeah. are the best. Like, let's get it on. Right. Like, we got to do this. Like, let's let's see who really is the best. And, and I thought it was going to go cool. And like she was going to oblige. But, you know, shit's changed and it is what it is. But, you know, um, I just think that it's definitely something that people have been waiting on. And however long it it takes to happen and whatever you got to do to make it happen is what people want to see. Facts. Listen, like I said, I'm, I'm willing, but let, let's be honest. Like Clarissa got to be willing too. you, you, you already preached to 147. Let's make the fight, make the fight. <laughs> um, Alicia, what, what, what do you think of Clarissa's rap skills? Are, are you bumping a single? I think it's trash. Respectfully. What, what do you think of it? Man, listen, if I, when I get in the booth and I drop them bars, y'all gonna know the difference. That's oh, all you got bars? Like, like, listen, I can do it all, y'all. Y'all just don't know it. But again, there's a time and a place for everything. Um, you know, like I said, Clarissa do what she want to do. I think every fighter at the point do what they want to do, but um, I'm definitely killing her in every area. So Okay. And, and, and to, keep it, to keep it real, when, when I saw when she grabbed your hand, um, I, I was absolutely terrified. Like I, I feared for your life being that she'd been in the, the MMA. What was your thoughts when she grabbed your hand? Did you think it was going to be like a guillotine situation? Like what, what did you think? Listen, no, listen, I'm a, I'm a type of person who sends off uh-huh. energy. Clarissa, again, she's all that. She's, she's for the uh-huh. look. She wanted me. She thinks she did her big one. You know what I'm saying? I think I see her tweet like, Oh, she pumped out. If y'all think that's fucking out. Go ahead. Think what you want to think. But like I said, I get paid to fight. You know what I'm saying? I get paid to tussle. And um, I'm also looking at the bigger picture things. I got heels and a dress on. Like, let's be let's be real. You know what I mean? And I know security was right there. So, you know, go ahead. make Do how you want to do it. But again, I was, I realized the position I was in. You right. know what I mean? So, you know. And it- Got think bigger than than what's going on. I'll tell you in, that. in regards to Amanda Serrano, Amanda Serrano says, "I don't like when fighters call me out. I want to be nice, kind of like Canelo, respectful." What's your thoughts on that? Because because I, I like when niggas like say, "Let's just run the fade." I don't I don't need to be friends. I just want to run the fade. What, what's your thoughts on how Amanda Serrano wants you to be respectful in order to get the fade? 
Listen, shut that soft <clears throat> up. We don't want to hear that. We want we want to fight. I get it. There's there's a, there's a line that you you know you draw, but at the end of the day, Amanda Serrano is in the fight business. We <clears throat> fight. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. I know you nice. I'm nice too. I'm very nice. But I'm also a fighter too, and I also know when I want that smoke, I want to fight, and I'm gonna call you out. That's just what it is. Ain't no hard feelings. Stop taking shit personal. You know what I mean? The, it's a fight game. Like, yeah, that's the chilling. We get paid to fight. Like we get paid to get in the ring, and we get paid for people to watch it. Like I don't know why people get so butt hurt and bent out of shape with stuff like that. We blow my mind. And, and one maybe last, you just have to ask politely too, though. You know, I don't know. You that's said what? Just ask politely, can I can I get the fade? You know, like maybe that's all you gotta do. You'd be in there. <laughs> one one last you know, is it, is it worth a talk? <laughs> one last thing. C- Clarissa was talking about um she might walk out with, with Adrian Broner. What's your thoughts on that? Is is that musty? This what what's your thoughts on that? Listen, again, y'all. Very amateur. <clears throat> I wouldn't even go very just just immature. Like go ahead if that makes you feel better. Like at the same at the same time, you looking at the same type of people. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you do. This is the thing, y'all. Like I sat out for nine months beating my case. You think I care what people got to say about me? Do you really like? I've overseeded that. People are going to talk. People ain't going to like me simply because I fight good. I look good. I talk good and. ETC, there's just the rest goes on. Again, Clarissa's very immature. She's a child. She has no growth as a woman, and it shows. And I actually feel bad for her because how do you have a team and you have people around you who aren't telling you how to do things? That's sad. You know what I mean? Like, let's just be real. Like, take the other shit out of it. That's sad. I feel bad for you, type shit. So cool. If you want to walk with I walk out with Adrian Broner, be my guest. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's just that's that that immature stuff. That Adrian Broner shit don't mean nothing. Not a damn thing. 